Okay, everyone, so here it is, the Q&A video. Um, <laughs> so I, I, uh, this is going to be totally unscripted, and um, I basically have no plan going into this. Originally, I did have a plan. I was going to screenshot all the questions and then play them in the video as I answered them. And then I got over 200 questions, and I was like, no, that's not happening anymore. So, <laughs> um, I'm just going to read off my list of questions, and y'all get to stare at this blank nothing. Nope, just kidding, my head's going to pop in here. So, it was terrible. I, I really should not do unscripted videos, but, like, I keep doing them anyways. So, this is a 5K special. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 5K. I did not expect that to ever happen. Like... I don't even, <laughs> I, I never really expected that to happen, and, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much. It's, like, it's so awesome to think that there's over 5,000 people who are watching me to see this kind of content, so that's, that's really nice, and it, uh, makes what I do a whole lot, a whole lot easier. So, um, I, as I said, I got about 280 questions, so I ended up dividing them into four different sections. I have questions about me, questions about Wings of Fire, questions about other fandoms and, like, books and stuff I read, and then I have questions about art in that order. So, um, I'm just going to get right into the list of questions. Okay. So, question number one. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. But there are lots of awesome colors that I like, like teal and mint green and like lavender. So all on that side of the spectrum are all really pretty. But at the same time, there's, there's, there are very few colors that I don't like. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving, which is coming up really soon, so I'm really happy. Plus fall is the best season, so. <laughs> okay, totally random and off-topic question, but do you have Amino or Discord? I do not have either. Um, I don't know if I will be getting either. So, uh, if there's a lot of interest in it, I might look into it. Uh, let's see. Hmm, what sort of music do you listen to as you draw? Do you listen to certain music when drawing certain things? Like fire theme songs when drawing peril, for instance. Okay, this is an awesome question. I do listen to music while I draw. I will also listen to, like, um, podcasts or, like, YouTube videos. Um, literary analysis stuff I'm really into. Uh, interviews with actors and writers I like. Um, I'll often listen to those. Uh, audiobooks a lot. Um, but yeah, I do listen to a lot of music. Um, and not really any specific kind. Honestly, like, I have this weird music cycle where I will find a song that I like and then just listen to it on repeat literally all day for three or four days. And then I'll find a new song and I'll move on to that. Um, I also have very, very varied, um, <laughs> music tastes. Uh, I come from a old style country music family kind of music background so um you know, my, my grandparents my dad and my uncles all like uh they all played old country music and so that's kind of what i grew up with so i actually have a playlist of like willie nelson robert O'Keefe, um and all those like old texas greats but then i also i'm into a lot of the newer stuff or what i call newer <laughs> like honestly i listen to a lot of single songs not not like everything by one band. Uh, a couple of the big names that pop to mind are like AJR, uh, One Republic, The Score, Zaid Wolf, Newsboys, um, and I will also I'll listen to movies and stuff while I um, draw. For instance, uh, I will often play movies and um, like episodes of the shows that I like to watch um, in a mini player in the corner of my screen while I draw. So <laughs> I've I've been slowly rewatching a lot of things like uh, Ninjago just in the corner of my screen while I draw. So yeah, I listen to a ton of stuff. I, I, it's barely ever quiet while I'm drawing. Totally awesome question, by the way. Um, what was the most painful injury you've ever gotten? Now, anyone who knows me is always shocked when I answer this question because I was one of those kids. I mean, I was the kid who wanted to build pallet forts and dropped pallets on herself at two-story pallet fort height. I was the kid who was, I was running all over the place and climbing trees and building things and just, I'm shocked. But the worst injury I ever had has been broken fingers. Like, not even kidding. Uh, I've broken fingers several different times. It's always pretty bad, <laughs> but I've never broken anything else. And like, it's painful, but I mean, it's a finger, right? So it's not super bad. It's just, it's more annoying than painful because the, especially if it's on my right hand, 
And to this, to this day, I still get a lot of finger injuries just because I stick my hands in everything. I'm still one of those people. <laughs> I have four brothers, and um, when you grow up, we were all very close in age, and when you grow up with four brothers, you don't tend, at least I was not, a careful young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your character a leaf wing? Um, I get a lot of questions about Cypress, my Sona. And honestly, there no planning whatsoever went into Cypress. Like, <laughs> there was none. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I kind of already had a Sona that would be Starfin, mm, who's one of my original OCs, who was kind of based off me. A sea wing, because sea wings are my favorite tribe. And I don't know why I didn't use her. Like, it didn't occur to me to make her my Sona. I'm not sure why. And so I kind of threw together um, what I thought sounded cool at the time. I just kind of picked what colors I liked. And since blue and green are kind of my favorite colors, uh, I did I did a leaf wing sea wing. So she's three fourths leaf wing, leaf wing and one fourth sea wing. And I didn't even really like the design when I first made it. Like I, it was a really it wasn't I didn't like it much. But over time, I guess I've just gotten attached to it, and now I do really like it a lot. So why is she a leaf wing? Um, I have no idea. Who was your inspiration? Um, I can't think of a lot of people. Uh, I doubt I'm saying her name right. Verasi was Verasi uh, was one um, a YouTube Wings of Fire um, animator. Bio Hazardia, uh, X the Dragon Reborn X. You know the big the big ones. Um, River Spirit on DeviantArt. She was the first artist I ever found online. Um, that my inspirations weren't like um, online artists. It was more a couple of friends of mine who got into Wings of Fire around the time I did, and they were drawing it, um, and I was drawing it, and so we kind of, I guess, we all kind of like inspired each other, I guess. So I don't know if that's a good answer. Like, I, like if I, if you ask me that, I can't think of one person who was like, oh yeah, they inspired me to start drawing. Um, but there were a couple people who I I definitely uh, referenced a lot as I was learning and took influence from. Do any of your OCs have a backstory? Um, yes, most of them do. Uh, when I come up with characters, I generally cannot help but come up with story because I am first and f foremost a writer. I was a writer long before I was an artist. And um, character creation is kind of <laughs> important to writing. So it's, uh, it's um, an old practice for me. I'm like an oldster as it comes to OC creation. So yeah, most of them have backstories, um, and I'm totally down to talk about those anytime. Because, uh, in fact, I might do a video on a couple of my older ones, uh, a couple of older Wings of Fire ones. How do you come up with names for your OCs? Uh, for Wings of Fire OCs, <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since I have remembered to come up with names that fit the tribes. Like, I have a rain wing named Alu, and it didn't occur to me until months after I'd named her that that's not really a rain wing name. Um, when I was naming them off Wings of Fire, uh, like tribal based names, um, I would just kind of think of stuff that seemed to fit. Like, it was really hard because um, there's not a whole lot of options, which is one, one of the reasons I got away from it. And a lot of the names are already taken. Um, most, of, most of my madness has no method, you will find. How long have you been drawing? I've been drawing for four years now. What is your absolute favorite food? Um, I have no idea. It changes all the time and it depends on what it's for. Like, um, I do know my absolute favorite dessert. It's ice cream. But as far as like food goes, um, a lot of the meals we used to have as a family, like, you know, uh, that my mom would cook and um, we'd sit down as a family to eat. I really like those just because it's kind of nostalgic for me. Um, macaroni and cheese was my favorite when I was a kid. Did you like dragons before you found Wings of Fire? Uh, I did. I found Wings of Fire because I had read How to Train Your Dragon, um, and having finished that amazing series, I was desperately looking for anything else about dragons. I basically went through the shelves at my, at my local library, and I searched for anything with a dragon on the cover, and I found Wings of Fire, um, like that. So, yeah, I did. I love dragons before I love Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire was like the ultimate dragon series that I could find, so it was it was pretty awesome. Is there any other dragon series you would recommend? Yes, the biggest one would definitely be How to Train Your Dragon. It's a 12 book series. Came long before the movies. I have mixed opinions about the movies because the books were very different. Very different. Very good as well. Um, Inheritance Cycles, uh, probably for a little bit of an older age group than uh, How to Train Your Dragon or Wings of Fire. Uh, Fablehaven and Dragon Watch, I'd call those Dragon Books by Brandon Mole. Um, 
a lot of the dragon books that I, I read a lot of dragon books. A lot of them were when I was younger. Um, Land of Stories, not dragon books specifically, but they had dragons in them. Uh, the Fire Within series, which honestly I could never find all the books at the same time in the right order, so I have a very, very fragmented idea of that series. It's still on my to-do list to finally get my hands on all those books and read them. Uh, Dragon Rider by Funk. Not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. I'm terrible at pronunciation. But yeah, lots of great dragon books out there. Go check out your local library. Are there any other fandoms you are in? Um, no, I, I mean, like, online, probably Wings of Fire is the big one. And I guess, technically, since I do create online content for Wings, uh, sorry, for Fablehaven, Dragon Watch, um, and Ninjago, I would technically say I'm in those fandoms. Like, I'm not sure what the definition of being in a fandom, but as far as, like, being fans of book series, I've read hundreds of books, especially when I was younger. Um, I was a homeschooler, so I read a lot. So, um, are there any other fandoms I'm in? All the books I just mentioned, um, I was in Percy Jackson for, I was into Percy Jackson forever. I was into Percy Jackson for a long time. Uh, I was in, I was into the Hunger Games, pretty, pretty big for a while, uh, Lord of the Rings. I was a Lord of the Rings kid for a good year and a half. Any pets? Yes, I, uh, I love animals. <laughs> I cycle through a lot of cats because I live in the country, I live in Texas, and I'm out in the country, and my cats keep wandering off. Um, I'm choosing to believe that they're just going across the street to live in the weird, random jungle across the road. <laughs> um, currently I have three cats I had four and then a week ago I haven't seen one in a week so I'm I probably have three cats now um Skitters has been here for a long time she's I hope she never gets lost because I will cry if she does um and then I have two kittens right now I have small cat who has an actual name but I call her small cat and so her name is small small cat and I have fire lord Zuko who my sister named and that's why his name is fire lord Zuko and that cat will not shut up I mean that cat he will sit at the door and scream all night long. It was it was really bad at first, but he's he's gotten better now. Um, I my fourth cat was named Indiana Jones, and actually she had a sister, and her sister already wandered off. But yeah, I think Indiana Jones has gone to live in the trees across the road. And then I have a dog named Bandit who is so sweet. Um, he's a cat of hula mix. Not sure what the rest of him is. He is a goober. I mean that dog. <laughs> He once got beat up by a pair of chihuahuas, which those dogs are, can be mean, but I mean, Bandit's not a small dog. He's just a pansy. Anyways, he likes to run. He's super fast. Uh, he chases birds a lot. He is the most adorable fuzzy goober ever. I, I could just, I cuddle with that dog for hours. He has the sweetest brown eyes. Any secrets? I can square dance. I can do the female and the male positions, and I was going to learn to call before COVID hit. And I'm pretty good at square dancing, so I don't want to hear any laughing in the comments. <laughs> what is your favorite dessert? I already answered that. It's ice cream and then brownies. Like the kind of brownies that are like fudgy. Not like the hard crunchy ones. I don't go for hard crunchy things. But, I mean, if you give me brownies and ice cream together, I will love you forever. What is your favorite dragon slash piece of art that you've ever drawn? Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to have to look in my files for that. I don't exactly remember everything I've drawn. Um... I'm scrolling through my files right now. Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> just because I'm kind of in a Ninjago phase right now, where I'm drawing a lot of Ninjago and I have re-gotten into that. Um, it's probably either this that I drew a couple weeks ago or this that I animated like a week ago. Um, just because I did them recently and I'm really, really proud of them. Um, favorite predator animal, favorite prey animal. Uh, favorite prey would definitely be a horse, hands down. Like I said, I come from a very traditional, uh, Texas family background, almost stereotypical. Um, yeah, I was raised around, um, I was raised not around horses, but very much around people who loved horses. It's complicated, but I, I was, my favorite movie was Spirit. I had horse models. I drew horses. I tried to draw horses. I read horse books. I used to get like horse encyclopedias from the library and I was ready to get my horses and start my career as a horse breeder. And that never happened. <laughs> horses are my favorite prey animal for sure. They are probably 
going to be my favorite prey animal forever. Horses are just, they're beautiful, beautiful creatures. Favorite predator animal, any kind of big cat. Um, I just, there's so much power and majesty with big cats. I can't help but love them. Uh, what is your favorite video game? I don't really play video games nowadays, um, mostly because I'm really busy and also because I don't want to get addicted to something. Not that I don't think I wouldn't enjoy them, but again, I just, like, I, I do so many things and I just don't have time for video games. But when I was younger, my, uh, I don't even remember what it was called. My dad had passed down to my brother, oh, uh, PlayStation 2? It was some really, really old gaming system that my dad had when he was a kid. And my brother used to play Weapons, on, uh, Weapons Over Normandy, which is a really old, um, like a, like a flying game with planes. And my, 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 my brothers were all really, really into planes and guns and all that boy stuff. <laughs> Not to be stereotypical myself. But, um, yeah, he and I used to play Weapons Over Normandy. He played it a lot, and I would play it every now and again. And so the point of the game was to go on these missions, right? And you'd blow up the enemy, and you'd blow up their tanks and their, their planes and stuff. But when I played with him, we would double, we would, we would double up, and we would, we would arm ourselves with bombs, and we would make a game of who could bomb our own city into rubble the fastest. Like, literally, we would just sit there for 20 minutes and bomb our cities to the ground. Like, it was hectic and stupid. And, like, it never occurred to me, um to play according to how the game was actually supposed to be played and I guess my brother just went along with my crazy um I guess he just let me have my moments of bombing innocent uh gas tanks and stuff uh it was really fun so the only video games I ever played were old and I played them wrong <laughs> <laughs> can you juggle um i cannot juggle my dad could juggle he used to try to teach us kids all the time and it'd be so funny you'd see four or five six of us kids crowded around my dad as he juggled and we would all be trying to imitate him and it would always devolve into a nerf gun fight or a throw the juggling balls at your siblings head fight um <laughs> we were all very close in age and so when we were really little everything was just a game uh, I'm rambling a lot, y'all. I'm sorry. I just, you know, these questions lead from one thing to another, and I really like talking about um, my family because I love them so much. I'm gonna try and keep this video kind of short. I'm, I'm doing my best here. Um, what inspired you to make your channel's mascot? Um, again, my Sona was totally uninspired. I have no idea why she came about, so nothing, probably. Do you prefer black or red licorice? Um, probably red. Will you be selling the dragons with their food as stickers? I will. They are in my Redbubble shop, and there is a link to my Redbubble shop in the description. Feel free to go there and support me. That money, um, for instance, went back into buying the awesome new mic that I am today using to record this video. So yeah, that's there. What is your OC's tribes? I know the leafwing, but not the rest of it. Again, uh, three-fourths leafwing and one-fourth seawing. What inspired you to make a YouTube channel? Um, I have, honestly, I have no idea. It's just like my Sona, where, um... I started doing digital art, and then I had seen some speed paints, and I thought, hey, I bet I could do this. And so I made some speed paints, and they were terrible. And then I thought, well, I'll just post these online somewhere. And uh, speed paints led to more speed paints, which led to me considering, like, as far as I remember, considering an actual channel. Um, and then I think I started doing What's Its Faces. Um, and then I started doing, I called them my game videos. I used to do Guess This Quote videos. I think I've deleted a lot of them now <laughs> because I can't stand to look at them. I used to have guess this quotes, and then I started doing 20 questions, and, um, about then my channel blew up because I started doing, uh, animatics, and that's when the majority of my subscribers found me. So, what inspired me to make it? I have no idea. Again, my madness has no method. Do you have any fan tribes that you have and haven't showed us? Uh, I do not. I'm not really into fan tribes. I try to stay away from fan fiction in general. Not, not, no. Okay, I try to stay away from writing it because, <laughs> uh, again, I'm a writer. I write my own stories and fan fiction just um, takes up a lot of time that I could be using to write other stuff. So I, I don't foresee making fan tribes anytime in the future. Although I have seen some cool ones out there. Tui has confirmed a love interest for Sunny. Who do you want or think it should be? This should be in the Wings of Fire section, but I guess I forgot to put it there. When you're sorting 280 questions, sometimes you miss them. Anyways, uh, I have no idea who it might be. Um, honestly, I, I don't particularly see the int the need to give her one. Like, not everyone needs a love interest. I think she would do just fine um, continuing on her own. I guess that sounded kind of terrible. Nobody deserves to be alone. I just don't think that she needs a love interest. Um, but I'm totally down for seeing who Tui picks. 
What is your favorite cookie? Chocolate chip and then M&M, but definitely chocolate chip. Random question. Do you like your steak medium rare or rare? Um, when I eat steak, and it's not often because I don't particularly like the taste of it, um, um, let's assume that I know the difference between rare and medium rare. Rare means less cooked, I think. Maybe. I don't know anything, apparently. Medium rare, I think, means more cooked, right? So probably more cooked, because, like, I don't know. I have, honestly, no, I don't eat steak a lot. Like, maybe once or twice a year. No, probably, like, once a year. That's pushing it. I haven't eaten steak in probably two or three years. It's been a while. What's your favorite flavor? Cake, Oreo, ice cream, or other? Um, cake flavor... Um, ice cream cake. <laughs> I'm cheating. Um, cake flavor probably chocolate. I mean, let's be honest here. Oreo, definitely classic Oreo, but a couple years ago I found these like 4th of July Oreos that had like popping candy in them and that was super cool. Um, ice cream, vanilla, definitely vanilla. If your OC Cypress was a human, what would her life be like? You can do a short summary about where she was born, where she grew up, and anything else important. It doesn't have to be your real information. Um, since Cyprus is basically just me as a dragon, it would probably be a lot like my life. Um, born in Texas, grew up in Texas, rural Texas, not like Austin or Dallas. I hate cities. <laughs> no offense to anyone who likes cities, but I just, I really like being out in the country. I've, I've pretty much been in rural Texas forever. I barely ever travel. I hate traveling. Um, really, I just want to stay in Texas forever. I like Texas a lot. Um, uh, she'd probably be homeschooled like I was, uh, and that's, that's the majority of what I've done with my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was homeschooled, and I grew up in Texas, and that's really all you need to understand me. I mean, I know there's a lot of stereotypes out there, and some of them are accurate, especially about us Texans. Um, anyone who's wondering, we do not ride horses to school. I, I never went to school, but I've never seen someone ride a horse to school. I, I've met some people who think that Texans ride their horses to school. And so when someone says, do you ride your horse to school? You say, no, we ride our cows to school, and we do our homework on a shovel. What is your favorite type of hat? If you don't have one, what's your favorite dinosaur? Favorite type of hat? Um, because I live in Texas, cowboy hats. The real, like the real cowboy hats. Um, they're just nostalgic for me. It's part of the tradition of this area. Uh, if you don't have one, what's your favorite dinosaur? I don't know. Anything with lots of teeth, man. Give me a friggin' scary dinosaur. What's your Halloween costume going to be? Um, I haven't dressed up in a long time. If I was going to dress up, I would dress up as myself because I am terrifying. Do you like pumpkin chocolate chip muffins? If you've never had one, I order you to do so now. I have not, and I refuse to get up and drive anywhere. <laughs> so I'm sorry. They sound delicious, though. Chocolate chips are the best. Are you going to make an animated series? Uh, I highly doubt it. Um, I write, I draw, but animation, although it's super fun and looks really cool, it takes a long time. And I doubt I'd have the patience to sit down at a project for that long because I, I have so many story ideas. Like I just, I can't, I just can't pin one down for a long time. What characters do you relate to the most? I'm um, gonna go with Outside of Wings of Fire for this because I think someone asked this question for Wings of Fire specifically. Um, uh, Farron in Beyonders, I relate to him a lot, especially in the third book. Uh, Kai from Ninjago. A lot. I, I could go into that. I mean, <laughs> I've always related to big brother characters or big sister characters just because I was an older sibling. And so it's really easy for me to understand that kind of protectiveness that, that those characters tend to have because I have that. Um, what got you into YouTube? Again, I have no idea. Have you ever made a Mary Sue OC? Um, uh, my first ones might have been. I'm not fully certain on the definition of Mary Sue. Um, so probably, I, if, if, to my understanding of it, um, everyone does it, like, in the beginning, right? Like, it's, it's like a, I don't know. I'm sure I did it one time. I don't anymore, I hope. Do you have any OCs that aren't dragons? If so, which ones? I have, god... I have so many characters. Um, very few of them were dragons. Some of my original stories uh, heavily involved dragons, but a lot of my later ones have been mostly about humans as the main characters, or at least humanoids. Um, probably 30, 40, 50 mains and sides. I don't even get me started on my background characters. I have like pages of just lists of names um, for background characters. Anyways, yes, lots of characters. Um, did you ever do a face reveal? If you don't, please do one. I have not done one yet. I highly doubt I will ever do one. Um, yeah, sorry if y'all really want that. How did you come up with the idea of Cypress the Leafwing? Again, no idea. Also, is there a reason that it's spelled C-Y-P-R-U-S instead of C-Y-P-R-E-S-S? -S? What? Excuse me while I search Google.
Cyprus is officially called the Republic of Cyprus, an island country in the eastern Mediterranean, the third and largest, most populous island. Okay, so Google says that Cyprus is a country. I think I was going for Cyprus the tree, right? So let me type it in how they spelled it. Cyprus, Texas. Ooh, cool. There's a place in Texas called Cyprus. Let me type in Cyprus tree. Tree. Huh. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> in true testimony. <laughs> in true testimony to my lack of planning skills whatsoever. It seems I've named myself after, after a small country in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, or whatever Google said. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my... I, I, I must never have looked up how to spell Cyprus. I must have just guessed it and assumed that I knew how to spell it. Like, that's actually hilarious. I can't pronounce or spell words, and I actually spelled my own Sona's name wrong. So now it's just a eternal misspelling wow i, I meant to name it. I, I vaguely knew that there was a tree called a cypress tree uh, <laughs> i've been exposed publicly okay the most important question how are you i'm very good thank you it's been a lovely day it's uh, it's fall favorite season 70 degrees outside if it could be 70 degrees for the rest of my life i would not complain so i'm doing great right now I'm doing what i love i'm recording a video thank you for asking are you ever going to make your own storyline? Again, I'm a writer. Storylines are what I do. Did someone inspire you to start YouTube? If so, who? Nope. Like I said, it was totally chance. If you could give one of your OCs a theme song, what song would it be? Um, I listen to so many songs. I, I have one for Cypress, actually, that, I, that I've been listening to a lot lately. Um, Come Hang Out by AJR. I know it. I know that when you listen to it, it sounds like angsty or something, but it's just because like I, I work a lot. And so this it's a song about like being super busy. So it just makes me kind of think of myself. Who is your favorite non wings fire YouTuber? Um, that's a good question. I, I follow, uh, follow a couple different warriors animators who do some really like bang up animating job. Uh, Night Riser, really good animator. Oh, what's her name? Humming Fluff. Uh, a a uh, webcomic artist that I follow who has a YouTube. I follow her YouTube. Not a whole lot. Your favorite non Wings of Fire OC? I have no idea. Favorite song? Um, that that changes all the time. Like I said, I listen to I will I have this thing where I'll just listen to a song on repeat for several days. Right now it's Blaze of Glory by Kevin Rudolph. Do you like memes? Which is your favorite? Um, <laughs> the only I do like memes. I don't see a whole lot of them. The only one that I like a lot would be Three Hours Later, which I don't even know if that is a meme, but like. It, it, it's funny to me because um, I have a really bad, I do a really bad job sleeping, like regulating my sleep schedule. I sometimes will stay up really, really late, but I also like to get up early. So it's a bad pair and I hate taking naps. So it's just, it's, it's all around, not cool. But <laughs> a while ago, a couple months ago, I, I've been up until like three o'clock. And then when I woke up at six o'clock and I got out of bed and I got ready to start the day, I, I thought to myself, three hours later, because I literally looked at the clock three hours later and thought, man, this is going to suck when you wake up in the morning. So, uh, probably the funniest, probably the funniest one on my radar right now, just because, um, it's got a bit of a story behind it. Favorite game? Um, checkers or chess? I love strategy games. I'm a strategy person. Favorite movie? Definitely Spirit, uh, Stallion of the Cimarron. Not that show that came out on Netflix that I will not speak about because that show infuriates me. Anyone who watches that show and likes it, I'm sorry, you've missed out. Go find the actual movie and watch it, please, okay? <laughs> it came a long time before the show. It's much better than the show. The show makes me angry. Please watch the movie and tell me what you think. Spirit of the Cimarron was my entire childhood, okay? Any of the Star Wars movie with Han Solo in it, except for that one that's actually called Han Solo, because Harrison Ford wasn't in it, so it's no good. Favorite season and or month? Uh, fall and November. November because Thanksgiving and fall because in Texas it gets really, really hot in the summer. And so fall is like, oh, yay, it's not so hot anymore. It's like the breath after the, it's like, oh, fall is just such a relief in Texas. Does your character have a backstory? And please, may we have a summary. Um, Cypress did, but I didn't like it, so I scrapped it. And currently, she does not. Since you're from Texas, do you like horses? Yes, I adore horses. Thank you. Horses are the best. I used to know a ton about them. I've forgotten most of it, which makes me sad. Funniest story of someone stereotyping you? Um, I've never really left Texas, and I haven't even talked with a whole lot of people online who've asked about Texas. 
I, I have stories of people saying, like, well, do y'all ride horses to school or something? Like, <laughs> really funny stories. But the only, the funniest, or the, the funniest one that I've ever, like, experienced personally would probably be, um, y'all. I am a y'aller. I'm from Texas. I say y'all of. Y'all, you all would have a lot. I say y'all a lot. And I have met people who aren't from Texas who, like, will kind of, like, giggle at me because, you know, I'm from Texas and I say y'all. Did you ever think your channel would grow this much? I did not. I'm shocked and very pleased. Cats or dogs? Again, cats snuggles and they don't... They're not so annoying as dogs sometimes, but dogs have that loyalty and they're... I saw... It's, it's totally even. I have no idea which. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Vanilla. Are you a potato? Um... I don't know. Am I? When's your birthday? October 29th. Two days before Halloween every year. What is your second favorite food? Um, again, I have no idea. I like apples and I like potato casserole and potato soup. I actually like potatoes a lot. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, do you know how underrated you are? Uh, I didn't. A lot of people comment a lot and tell me, which makes me blush and get super happy and do a little girl scream. So apparently... What's your favorite dog breed? Um, German Shepherd or Catahoula? Catahoula because we always had them growing up, and German Shepherd because they're gorgeous dogs, and they're also, like, really loyal, so I like them a lot. Why are you so freaking cool? Um, well, every morning I get up and I drink my cool juice, and then I'm infused with the powers of coolness for the rest of the day. How spoopy are you? One Google search later. Um, I don't know. How spoopy am I? How many OCs do you have? Again, 40, 50, 60, it's, it's a lot. If you have more than one, which one is your favorite? That's hard. Um, currently, oh, I can't even say. Because I have a lot, and my main characters, I have three or four or five different main characters, and they would all yell at me if I picked someone. Of my Wings of Fire OCs, probably Siren. She's a sarcastic assassin that a friend designed for me, so... Also, how many comments would you say you read every video? Of course, depending upon how many. Um, I read all the comments, like every single one. I'm really proud of myself for being able to keep up with that so far. I know it will be harder once I have more subscribers, but like, y'all, comments are literally the best part of what I do. You know, I, I spend hours and hours and hours drawing this stuff, and then I spend hours and hours planning videos and editing stuff together. It's a lot of work, okay? But, like, when I get these comments, it make, it that's totally, it makes it so worth it. Like, hearing people talk about how they love stuff that I come up with, like, it's just the best feeling in the world. And so, comments, like, it, I, there'd have to be a lot of comments for me to not read all of them. Uh, comments are just, they're the best part of what I do. I try to reply as much as possible. I do read them all. So even if I don't reply to, like, a question or something, know that I read it, and apologies. Oh, uh, speaking of questions, apologies if I missed any. I tried to get them all. I double-checked, but, uh, if I missed one or two, my apologies. Um, did you expect your YouTube- did you expect to have a YouTube channel as a kid, or was it just a surprise thing? As a kid, I barely got on the internet, so I barely knew that YouTube existed. Uh, no, I, I did not expect to have a YouTube channel. I expected to be a horse trainer. Um, I was really, really into horses when I was a kid. It didn't, it didn't work out that way, but no. I did not expect to have a YouTube channel as a kid. How long does it take you to fill up a sketchbook if you use them? I actually have one that's full right now that I'm expecting to do a sketchbook tour for soon. It took me about eight or nine months to fill it. Why haven't you tried sushi? It's amazing. Um, again, I live in the middle of nowhere in Texas. Sushi isn't a big thing in the middle of Texas, apparently. Um, we're more into, like, chili and stuff. Um, I haven't ever had much of a chance, and I don't have much interest in it. I hear it's raw fish, and, like, that, no offense to people who like it, but that sounds gross. Are you interested in writing a story of your own? If so, what would it be about? Heck yeah, I've written a lot. Probably well over a thousand pages of literature. Um, I, I mostly write fantasy fiction, uh, adventure stories. Very important question. Can I sing happy birthday to you on your birthday? Yes, please do. I love getting sung to. How are you so amazing? <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. I, I don't know. Like I said, I just, I, I do what I do, and for some reason, y'all like it. Why do you upload so late, XD? Um, uh, I schedule uploads. Um, I do videos weeks or months in advance, um, and so when I finish them, I upload them to YouTube, and then I schedule them to upload on the Sunday, 
because I upload on Sundays. Um, and I usually uploaded it at 12 or 1 a.m. I set it to post at 12 or 1 a.m. so that people who are up at 12 or 1 a.m. can see it, if that makes sense. And because I love waking up on Sunday morning to, like, 70 comments. Like, it's like Christmas morning every week. Do you have a religion? If so, what is it? Yes, I'm Catholic. Um, I'm, I'm a cradle Catholic. I've been Catholic forever. Where do you get your ideas for videos? Um, in my fabulous brain. <laughs> Again, I have no idea. I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm like, I'm playing chicken on the railroad here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Almost no plan. Um, I just see stuff that I want to talk about, or I see stuff that I want to draw, or I see a cool idea that I want to do, and that's how it goes. Where can I find where the audio is from in your animatics? Uh, just ask me in any of those videos. Just comment um, a specific section, uh, and I will tell you. A lot of it's from Ninjago and uh, Transformers Prime, A-Team, uh, Lego Movies, Batman, Lego Movie, the Lego Movie. Um, so, yeah. Would you mind just talking about your journey on YouTube? I think it might be very interesting. Just talk about some challenges or anything else you faced and how you got to where you are now. Thank you. Um, I started YouTube about a year ago. It's probably, it's probably been about a year now. I actually just had my two-year digital art anniversary. Um, like I said, I just, I threw some videos up and I, I liked it. I did some more. I got barely any recognition. It was depressing for a while. I kept doing it because I knew that eventually people would start noticing me. Um, until a couple months ago, I still wasn't getting any recognition. And it was like, you know, I'd spend all this time on a video and it would post, and it would, I'd go up and I'd get like three comments, right? And that's like super depressing when you're a content creator. Guys, if you ever see an underrated artist, like leave them a comment because it makes, it makes a world of difference. There were the people who were with me from the beginning are the reason I have a YouTube channel now. So if you were here from like 50 subscribers up, you're the reason I still have a channel because like it, it, it's so hard to do this and not get any feedback. Like, Hey, I loved it. Like even a short comment, like, wow, this is so good. It, it just there, that's an hour of content motivation right there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, it was rough for a while. I, I, nobody was, nobody was, it didn't seem like a lot of people were interested, but, um, I posted my first animatic and the channel absolutely like blew up like caught on fire, blew up, flew through the sky. I was shocked out the roof because it was like, and you know, the animatics almost didn't even happen. It was like a middle of the night thing. And I, you know, I called some friends, Hey, I have this idea. Do you have any like funny audio that I could use for this? And my sister was instrumental in giving me ideas. Um, so a couple other friends helped a lot and it just, I threw it together. And like, I was pretty sure that most of y'all were going to hate it because it seemed like a really dumb idea, but I did it anyways. Cause I kind of wanted to see how it turned out. And then I got a thousand views in one day, which for me was like, I, I got like maybe 60 views in a day, tops. So I got a thousand views in a day. And then like by the end of the week, it was at like 8,000 and I, my subscriber had blown up. And, and, you know, before long I was at a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, and now I'm at 5,000 and the animatics ended up being the best thing that ever happened to my channel. And I guess, I guess the key is just to find something that the people like, um, and, and I guess, you know, you know, I, for the longest time, I thought what's its faces were not going to work. Um, people didn't seem to like them at all. And so there was a while there where I thought, I'm just not going to do these anymore. I'm just going to do speed paints and the 20 or the, the guesses quotes videos. And, um, people found the animatics and then that helped them find my channel. And it, I guess people still like the what's its faces. Um, so that's why I'm still doing those. Uh, so it, you know, I'd say a lot of it was <laughs> chance. Like there was no like, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's my plan. Here's how I'm going to get subscribers. I, I barely did any advertising, like none. I think I got a couple shout outs. Um, but it was, it was a lot of it was happenstance. So I was really lucky. Um, don't know if that's motivational because like I can't give really a lot of tips. Um, because I don't know how it happened to me. I, I guess I just hit gold with the animatic idea. I thought I was the first one to do animatics, but all right, that is finally done with the questions about me section that took darn near an hour to record. I'm so sorry. I have eight pages of questions, like literally just eight pages of questions. So I'm, I'm trying my best. I just got through three. Yeah. Uh, so onto the wings of fire section. What is your favorite character in wings of fire? Definitely Deathbringer. Least favorite character. I don't know. Squid. He's annoying. Most underrated wings of fire character. Deathbringer. Bring Deathbringer back into the books, please. Who's your favorite? Peril or Sky? Definitely Peril. She has a hilarious point of view. 
she, her mind is all over the place and I adore it. It's so funny. Do you have any art tips for artists who want to draw wings of fire dragons? Um, start with your favorite tribe and go from there, you know? Uh, and also don't worry about it looking terrible because my stuff, it was bad. Y'all, I have an ancient sketchbook tour up on my channel. Y'all can go check it out if you want any reassurance. Your stuff's not bad until you've seen my stuff. Um, yeah, so just, just, uh, keep at it. Don't get, don't get discouraged. And I say this a lot, but just practice. Y'all, I practice so much. So y'all need to practice too. Would you rather kill Turtle, Deathbringer, Keebly, Moon, or Sky? Moon. I don't dislike Moon, but if Moon died, Keebly would be sad, and I like my favorite characters to suffer. <laughs> okay, I realize that sounds terrible. Um, Moon dying would, in would introduce a lot of interesting stuff to the story, um, but as far as characters I like the least out of those five, Turtle or Sky, just because, like, I don't know. Like, not that I dislike them, but I just like them less than Deathbringer, Keebly, and Moon, you know? Your favorite Wings of Fire OC? I have no idea. Of mine, it's Siren. If you could change anything about the books, what would it be? If I could change one thing, I would probably change um, just the maturity level. Because I like a good, dark story. Not dark, but just a story that has a lot of fighting and a lot of suffering from the main characters. Um, and Wings of Fire doesn't do a whole lot of that just because it's for younger kids, you know? Um... And of course, you know, it's a great story, so if I could, like, age it up to make it more interesting, I guess. Like, not that it's not interesting, but... Um, Sunny or Kinkajou? Kinkajou, definitely. King not that I dislike Sunny. Kinkajou's just hilarious. When do you predict the 14th book will come out, and how long do you think it will take you to finish reading it? Um, if I wasn't lazy, I'd go to Amazon right now and check when it comes out. It will probably take me two days to read it. Tops. Um, I'm a natural speed reader, and I read books really quickly. Do you have a favorite hybrid Wings of Fire Dragon? It does not have to be in the actual books. Um, probably Whiteout. She, her designs are really cool. And she's a sweet baby. Why didn't you draw Kinkajou with a strawberry? Um, that's for this art thing. And, um, I guess just because I didn't want to be stereotypical. Like, like, I knew that it, the first thing that people expect, like, Darkstalker and, uh, Kinkajou to have is a strawberry, right? And so because I'm naturally a contrary, stubborn person who wants to argue with everyone, the first thing that I thought was, well, I'm not going to do a strawberry. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> so that's why. Who do you think has the best canon design slash color palette? Um, probably white out. She's really fun to draw. I like the contrasting blacks and whites. Or Peril. Her design's really pretty, too. Uh, what's your favorite type of hybrid? Um, I like all of them. There's a lot of interesting, um, designs that can be done. What are your thoughts on Darkstalker turning into Peacemaker? Uh, I like it. It was a good, it was a good way for that situation to get wrapped up, um, without killing Darkstalker, who is a very sympathetic villain. A lot of people really cared for him, and I think Tui would have stepped on a landmine had she terminated Darkstalker. What character arc was your favorite and why? Um, in Wings of Fire? Keebly or Deathbringer? Because they're my favorite characters. What are some Wings of Fire ships that you hate? I don't hate a lot of them. What's your thoughts on the theory Leaf Wings are descendants of Sea Wings? Um, I don't know if, if this is a typo, but I believe the correct theory is Leaf Wings are the descendants of Rain Wings, because in Book 13 it was Beetle Wings, um, who could supposedly shoot venom out of their fangs, which sounds a lot like Rain Wings or some kind of Rain Wing. Uh, and that was what leaf wings are uh, descended of, and I, I believe that's fully possible. Their body types are very similar. They're both forest dragons. It makes a lot of sense to me. What tribe do you think is underrated? Uh, probably rain wings, because they're invisible venom-spitting dragons. I mean, like, you can't overestimate an invisible thing that can shoot death venom into your face. What's your favorite book from the series? Um... Probably book 10. Book 10 was a bang-up job. I mean, it, the finale kicked me in the heart. <laughs> and it was, it was just a great book all around. That or Darkstalker, because that was a good book too. What's your favorite and least favorite tribe? Favorite tribe is definitely Sea Wings, and least favorite is probably Mud Wings or uh, Hive Wings. What's your favorite book cover from the series? This is a great question. Uh, probably book 13. The cover was fabulous. I like the colors. I like the pose that Sundu's in. She just looks so majestic. So, good job. Joy Aang has amazing art. Do you ship Sunny Flight? If I had to choose between Sunny Flight and Star Speaker, it'd be Star Speaker just because it's canon and because I think they're adorable. But um, if Tui decided to ship Sunny Flight canonically, I'd probably go with it.
Do you think that Winter would be a good boyfriend for Moon? I think that Moon would be a good girlfriend for Winter because Moon is a supportive, caring person and Winter needs that part, that, that kind of person in his life. But I feel like Winter would be a bad dragon for Moon because throughout the series, um, he yelled at her and snapped at her a lot and just... He had a temper, and I feel like I feel like Moon needed a dragon who would be would be a little bit more constant, and so I do feel bad that Winter never got a dragon like Moon because I do feel like Moon would have been really good for Winter, but I have to think about both of them and at the same and and while I do think that Moon would have been good for Winter, I think that Winter would not have been a good fit for Moon from what I saw of him. Do you think that the Hive Wings would have had sympathy for the Leaf Wings if they were not mind controlled? Um, I think that some of the Hive Wings would because like no two hive wings are going to be the same and although some are probably going to agree with wasp just because that's how they were raised i think a lot of them just like cricket you know would sympathize with them what time period of dragons do you like to draw like do you prefer to draw dragons from when dark stalker was hatched or do you like to draw the newer dragons uh no preference i mean they all look the same in my head so who is the most powerful tribe like i said invisible dragons that can spit death venom at you it's the rain wings <laughs> Wings of Fire characters in Halloween costumes? No promises. Which Skywing do you like the most? Definitely Peril. Character to bring back from the dead? Um, wait out. She was adorable. Headcanon that you hate the most? Uh, I do not know many headcanons. Headcanon that you love? Again, I don't know many headcanons for Wings of Fire. Least favorite lore-breaking scene in the books? Like, least favorite exposition dump scene where they tell about the lore? I, I'm guessing is what they mean. Um, can't really think of one. Too, he's pretty good about that, as far as I've, uh, as far as I've seen. Who is your favorite Pentalin dragon? Sundu. No, no clue. No question there, because there's no competition. <laughs> if Clay could have anything in the normal world, what food would it be? It'd be a hamburger, because hamburgers are the best. Do you think Swordtail is a boring character? I think Swordtail had a lot of potential, and I, th I don't like what Tui did with him, honestly, because he's a, he's just like the brainless muscle guy. Do you think Kestrel should have had a redemption story? I would not have mind seeing one, but as she is currently dead, I do not foresee one. What are some of your oldest Wings of Fire OCs? Um, if I still have the picture, they should be appearing on the screen now. If not, uh, Drizzle and Water Lily were something that my friends and I came up with when we found out that we read Wings of Fire, like the both of us, that, that we both read it. Hey guys, so it turns out I could not shorten the video to anything less than like an hour and a half, which is way too big for one video, so I ended up splitting it into parts one and two. So this marks the end of part one, and next week we will finish up the Wings of Fire section, and then have the non-Wings of Fire section and the art section. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week to finish it off. I wanna take it on it, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the star cold